to I Born Poland YouTube channel and my name is Roshana Sham Kader. Today my topic would be reasons for the rejections of Polish national visas. So before we move on to the video, as always, I have to tell you that I'm not a visa consultant, I'm not an immigration officer or an agent. I am sharing these um, informations based on my experience only and researches. So keeping this in mind, we'll go to the video. There is always a reason behind every visa rejection. Right documents are not enough. Common mistakes, simple common mistakes can lead to a negative visa decision. But you always make sure that your documents are 100% correct and accurate according to the checklist and the requirements. But there is a part which you don't see and don't take into your consideration. Through today's video, I'm going to talk about that part which you don't take into your consideration. So I have listed out these information on my notebook that I will not miss any to discuss with you. If we talk about the first point would be your passport. At the stage of applying for a job in Poland, make sure that your validity of the passport would be at least three to four years. Because uh, when you reach the stage of applying for your visa, if your validity period is like less than two years, then it would be a reason for your visa rejection. And also make sure that your passport is issued within past 10 years and has two blank pages. In case if your passport is expiring within three years, make sure that you renew your passport before applying for the job in Poland, not waiting until you apply for the visa. So otherwise it will be a clash with the, the new passport and the old passport information and your visa will be rejected. Passport is a very valid uh, travel document, so make sure that your passport is clean and kept pro in, in a proper order. And uh, Damaged passport and also when your passport is not in a good condition, that also could be a reason for your visa rejection. The next point will be insufficient fund in your bank balance. Many people ask me this question, when we go to Poland to work, why do we need a bank balance? How it is affecting? Yes. When you come to Poland, sooner you arrive in Poland territory, you will not receive any salary. You have to wait for your salary for the next month. So some company provide only accommodation. Very rarely company provides food. So if you are joining a company where they provide only accommodation and food is not included, then you need some expenses for your food for the first three months until you receive the salary. And also, they require the value of your return ticket that is a proof that you will return back to your home country. So this is the reason why you need to have a balance in your bank account. Expenses for first three months until you settle and also the value of your return ticket. This is clearly mentioned in some uh, embassy website, so you can go through and in some websites they don't um, mention this but you can also some google and see um, how much bank balance should i need to have for work visa in poland like that if you search then you will get some results which where you can read through but um, here i'm just making it short so if you don't have a sufficient bank balance in your bank statement then that also would be a reason for your visa rejection so providing a bank statement with a bank balance will be a plus point for you will be a positive point for your visa next point would be police clearance report if you have uh, past criminal records or any court uh, cases, then that also would be a reason for your visa rejection. In some countries, they ask uh, this police report in the checklist, they mention as optional. But if you, uh, many people don't provide this police report because it is mentioned as optional. So if you provide a, a police clearance report, that will also would be a positive point. And if you don't have 
have this according to the checklist, then your visa will be rejected. No accommodation proof. In some companies, they have mentioned that they were providing accommodation in the contract or in the intent letter. But if you can um, request a separate um, letter for as accommodation proof, that would be really uh, helpful for you because on the checklist they have asked separate document as accommodation proof. So if you don't have this or if it's not mentioning in any of your document, then that would be a reason for your visa rejection. Next point uh, will be submitting the visa application to a wrong embassy or to wrong VFS center. This is mainly affecting for Sri Lankans as everyone know that in Sri Lanka there is no um, Poland embassy. So the Sri Lanka belongs typically to Poland embassy in India. Since now uh, the VFS center is accepting application on behalf of their embassy and visa application centers are all over India but you have to select the right VFS center which belongs to Sri Lanka therefore the Sri Lanka belongs to the New Delhi VFS center and if you apply or submit your documents your application to another VFS center in another city then it would affect your visa you will not get the visa sometimes your application also will not be accepted so make sure that you choose the right embassy or right VFS center to apply for the visa if you're belonging to a certain country then you have to apply through that country only the next point will be wrong travel itinerary as I always say, every country has their own procedures, own requirements and own documentation process. So you always have to read through the official embassy page for their requirements and provide the documents according to that. Some embassies request the travel itinerary with the cost, some uh, embassies request without the cost. So if your travel itinerary doesn't meet these requirements, then there will be a reason for the visa rejection. Next point should be travel medical insurance is not purchased according to the requirements and not purchased from the listed companies. How to find the listed companies? On your checklist, there is a small link under travel medical insurance. When you click on to that, you will find the listed companies in every country where you have to purchase your travel medical insurance. And also the requirements are mentioned on the travel medical insurance column. So you have to purchase your travel medical insurance according to that requirement and from that company which are listed. If, you, if these requirements are not in order, then that would be a reason for your visa rejection. And the next point I would like to talk that the travel medical insurance and your travel itinerary is mismatching. It means that suppose if your travel medical insurance is expiring on 29 July 2023 and your departure date from the Poland territory is on 31st July 2023 then there is a gap of two days then you are without the insurance for two days that also matters for the visa so always make sure that if your uh, travel medical insurance is expiring on 29 July 2023 then your departure date also should be on the expiry date of your travel medical insurance maybe it could be before that but not after the expiration date so make sure that you match this uh, information otherwise that also a reason for your visa rejection next would be invalid reference documents the documents provided by the company should be legal legal work permit and also the documents uh, provided by the company should contain their stamp their address email address and contact number or it can be on the official letterhead and the, all the documents provided by the company should be one set in english and also the other set in polish so if these no, these um, requirements are not meeting then there would be a reason for your visa rejection next point would be qualification mismatch make sure if you're applying to a general worker category to avoid entering high qualif uh, qualification to the CV or to the application. There will be a clash and this also would be a reason for your visa rejection. Next would be false during the embassy interviews. 
Many embassies don't conduct interviews, but some still do. So during these embassy interviews, if you are getting late, if you don't arrive on time, or if you have unpleasant appearance, uh, or if you have lack of uh, English knowledge, and also if you have lack of knowledge about the company or about uh, their work permit, uh, those informations, then there will be a clash and also incorrect answers. Your answers are not confident and your answers are not matching for their questions. Then these will be affecting for your visa as well. That's all for today and I hope through this video you have gained some knowledge, you have gained some information. I'm not telling you that whatever the uh, reasons which I have mentioned here could directly affect your visa but it could be this also could be a reason that your visa got rejected so be prepared make a note of these small small uh, details and be prepared not only on the documentation side also on the other side so i hope you like this video if this video was useful for you show some love with liking it sharing it with your friends and also share your ideas in the comment box so until we meet in our next video, take care, Papa.